It takes place during three years of the Great Depression in the fictional tired old town of Maycomb, Alabama. It focuses on six-year-old Scout Finch, who lives with her older brother Jim, and their widowed father Atticus, a middle-aged lawyer. Jim and Scout befriend a boy named Dill, who visits Maycomb, to stay with an aunt each summer. The three children are terrified and fascinated by a neighbor, the reclusive Boo Radley. This, of course, the Albuquerque Little Theater, putting on the production of the classic To Kill a Mockingbird. And the director of the iconic story, Stacey Robbins, is here with us this morning to talk all about it. Stacey, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So I, this is a, a fantastic production. You know, To Kill a Mockingbird is an amazing story. The production is at Albuquerque Little Theater, and it is produced in collaboration with Mother Road Theater Company. So uh, tell us a little bit, first of all, about how, you know, because a lot of us grew up reading this in, you know, in school. Almost everyone has read this or is familiar with it. Sure. What is, what is the main difference between the book and this stage production we're going to see opening tomorrow night? Well, the book, as you say, it's on the reading list still for middle schools and mm -hmm. high schools across the country. Um, and the, the original um, story, the novel, it, of course, is very long, very thick. Mm -hmm. um, and to be able to condense that down to a play version, um, even to condense it down to a screenplay, mm -hmm. um, took a lot of time and, and um, effort to be able to do that. So there are, there are situations, there are some characters that are not um, present in the stage play mm -hmm. that were in the novel. Okay. Um, but this, is, um, this adaptation was done by Christopher Sergel. And it was pretty much the, the only version that was given um, Harper Lee's blessing really? to, to go forward and write this. And Christopher Sergio was a very good friend of hers. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, she, said, she has said all along that Scout, she is not Scout, mm -hmm. and that Dill, who is the, her little childhood friend in the book, was not necessarily Truman Capote, but the two of them were childhood friends. Uh -huh. And it's, there, there's so many things in the book, in the story, and in the stage play, and in the, the screenplay mm -hmm. that you know, you, you look at that and you go, well, how can this not be mm -hmm. um, Harper Lee? How can yeah. this not be, you know, her experiences yeah. as a child? Yeah. So. Well, so, and now this production, it's, um, it's, like I said, a combination of Mother Road Theater Company and mm -hmm. the Albuquerque Little Theater. Features an incredible cast. Fortunately, I was able to sneak in uh, last night, take a look at the dress rehearsal. What has the rehearsal process been like? I mean, you're working with some incredible talent in this show. Yeah, very, very incredible talent. And, and people who are very well known here. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been here very long, so I'm sort of coming to um, a lot of the, the talent that's here in Albuquerque uh, myself through this, the, this process of directing this show. Um, but there are a lot of uh, theater veterans that people are familiar with, a lot of um, actors who work in film here as well. Mm -hmm. Um, and that the process has been amazing because to to get this caliber of talent to be able to commit to doing this show, um, knowing that there may be you know, times when they are called on set because yeah. they're doing an, another project, um, that was a little tricky because right. you know I had to be prepared for that from the beginning, yeah. and and being a performer myself, I know you know mm -hmm. how that is. Um, Fortunately, that has that has not hurt us too much. Yeah. Um, so the process is, has really truly been amazing. You know, there are three main characters in the story, mm -hmm. and then the rest of the cast is pretty much ensemble. Yeah. Um, and to have these actors who are leading men and women to come in and to mm -hmm. want to work on this story, to want to work with me and Mother Road, and yeah. you know, of course, with our collaboration with ALT, mm -hmm. um, has really been. Yeah. Very, you know, wonderful for me to be able to do that, and, and I'm very grateful that they were yeah. that they were able to do that. They're just they're doing yeah, a wonderful phenomenal. job. You, Chris Atwood, so. Hakeem Bellamy, our poet laureate of Albuquerque. Yep. Now you just came to New Mexico. You've been here how long? About a year? Is um, that right? Just over a year. Just over a year. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your background, where you came from, and why you chose Albuquerque. Um, oh well, that's a whole <laughs> long story. Um, I grew up on the East Coast. Okay. And um, my my actual history with this um, this production was that this was the first uh, Scout was the first professional role that I ever did. Wow! So I was eight years old when I when I um, played Scout, mm -hmm. and that was in the workshop productions of this um, this particular version wow. by Christopher Sergel. So that was that was a wonderful experience. Yeah. Um, I have predominantly worked on the stage, mm -hmm. but I've worked on uh, TV series, things like that, mm -hmm. um, on the East Coast, and really lived all over the country. Yeah. So I came here from South Texas. Okay. I was running a theater company um, mm -hmm. there, 
resigned from that uh, position and came here because my one of my children lives here. Gotcha. Um, okay. She's an archaeologist, and so oh, wow. you know, this was okay. the perfect place for her to be. Yeah, and, well, also being a know, performer, New Mexico is a perfect place to be because there's a yes, lot of work there's here. there's a lot. How are you liking Albuquerque so far? I'm loving it. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's Love beautiful, that. beautiful place to be, and there, like you said, there's so there's so much art. Yeah, here. so much to do so. here in New Mexico. One of the mm -hmm. reasons I love it. Well, of course, um, uh, To Kill a Mockingbird opens tomorrow night. Right. What are the details on the performance? Um, it opens tomorrow night, the 11th. Um, it's 7:30 on Friday and Saturday nights, 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoons. Okay. Uh, we do have a um, an additional Thursday evening performance on the 24th. Mm -hmm. uh, tickets are 18 to 22 dollars, and uh, we also have uh, two. Uh, student matinees that we are offering on the 17th and the 25th, and okay. that's that's for large groups, mm -hmm. um, mostly for students, but we're also bringing in other groups yeah. from. Um, uh, um, it's got to be a great opportunity, like yeah, for, especially for the young mm -hmm. kids, because as you said, this is still on the reading list. So being able to right. see the story live in front of them, I'm sure, is going to have a very big impact. Stacy, thank you so much for coming in. Thank and you And of course, very folks, much. we will have links to all of this on our website at casa.com under the style tab. Now, last week, 